I'm just on my way to do a off-road recovery. Today it's a Ford F350 and it's probably 150 feet down a very steep embankment. So I've got my Swamper Denny along and uh, my buddy Jared, which he's brought his giant off-road buggy named Hyde. First of all, we're gonna kind of roll up and assess the situation and figure out a game plan for getting the truck up the bank. It's probably about 45 degrees, so it's very steep and a very heavy truck so we're gonna have to get the rigging just right with a bunch of pulleys a bunch of cable and a few winches this is definitely the most complicated one I've done so far because of how far it is down the bank how steep the bank is how heavy the truck is and the fact that there's no keys and it doesn't run so it can't help assist I like helping Bruce because Bruce is always helping people Bruce gives up pretty much all of his free time to help other people when it comes to this kind of stuff. I mean, it's always fun. It's never boring when you go out with Bruce, that's for sure. Mostly because he doesn't tell you what's happening until it's happening. Today I am driving my buggy. It's a tube buggy that I built from scratch. His name's Mr. Hyde. It's uh, on 54 inch tires, front and rear steer, three ton axles, and about a thousand horsepower twin turbo big block. Jared, Denny, hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> you actually came out. <laughs> well, didn't know what we we're doing. So. <laughs> yeah. So we got a truck. This is the pin drop right here. And you notice there's no truck here. Uh, it's no truck. 150 feet over the bank. Bruce asked me if I wanted to come run a winch on Saturday. And that is all I knew up until I got here right now. So I brought a bunch of cable, uh, some jacks, some things, because currently the truck only has two tires on the left so we need to put two tires on the right awesome. to make it easier for us so i think right now we'll kind of unload the gear out of my jeep and uh see what we got and then first step is going to be going down the hill and working on the truck itself cool you Sweet. brought wheels uh i think someone tried to steal them oh and they only made it about 50 feet so oh, they're hill. still down there so we'll steal some lug nuts off the left tires and go four and four and four uh, and then the ignition's punched out, so I'm hoping we can get it into neutral. If not, we'll do a little there. snip on the, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, put the transmission in to neutral physically. Um, and then we'll start rigging pulleys and cable and things. Cool. So. Sounds good. Can you drive down there to give us orders or are you going to be stuck um, on top of the hill? I could drive down there, <laughs> but I wouldn't be getting back up. Right. It's probably about 45 degrees. Oh, so, it's a good, good slope. Yeah, with a lot of brush and stumps. And Bruce, so, is the, Bruce is the second recovery. Actually, yeah, today. I'll hop out since there's no snow, which is awesome. Uh, so if you want to grab my chair out of the back, and then we'll get to it. Fair Sounds good. Yep. All right. Let's... Go check it out. This truck that you say exists. Yeah, show us a truck. So it's a 2002, which means it's a 7.3 liter. Good, nice and light. I heard those are light. <laughs> I love being Bruce's friend. It's always entertaining. It's, it's always a mystery what you're going to do, no matter how much you think you know, you don't. It's going to kind of be a lot of pulleys and a lot of cable. Um, some of them will be doubling the pull power and others will just be redirecting the winch line. So I can't promise this is gonna be precisely to scale, but at least we'll be all on the same page, quite literally. That is a truck. And then we've got the road up here, kind of switchback. We've got a good anchor point tree right there on the high side of the road. The truck from that tree is 150 feet down, so we've got 200 feet of cable. So my plan is to put a snatch block on the back of the truck, uh, pulley for redirect on this tree, 
my Jeep down this road that we're on. And then my winch cable snatch blocked to one end of the cable. Cable goes through that redirect around snatch block up to wherever it'll reach. And that's where your uh, winch line will hook on wherever it will single line. Because then we're two to one on the truck and then two to one on my Jeep. Okay. So I think we're at least two to one. I think this makes it four to one. Um, but then since we're both pulling on single end, it'll speed it up. Mm -hmm. So it'll be reduced ratio, but a little faster. We'll probably hook a strap onto the back of you. Uh, so wherever that so tightens, you'll be there. good. And then Danny, since this tree's quite a bit smaller than I would like, he's going to run his winch line to the bottom of that tree and anchor to something behind him. And then if we need, we can switch from the tree pulley to the end of Denny's line so that we can adjust angle of that it. Makes sense. Looks like it'll work. Yeah. Couple couple snatch blocks not, and right there. Couple pulleys and worst case we have five winches. All right. Eight pulleys. I'm very <laughs> proud of you for having a plan. Did you think this up just now or did you think about this last night? Um, yeah, I thought about it on the drive Yeah, up, yeah so. it wasn't <laughs> one of the options. <laughs> All right, and break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I know that there's a truck about 150 feet over an embankment down a hill that we're going to have to hike up and down the hill probably 30 times today. And I'm betting Bruce isn't doing a lot of hiking. This can come out. That's there, have you this one. That's chain. Never mind, I lied about the jack. Oh, crap, I lied. Whatever. Oh, no, it's say yep. something. At least that's heavy as fox. Uh, yeah, so Jared, if you want to grab the jacks and wood chunks, you can probably start your journey down. Okay. Denny, you can do... Oh, yeah, I don't think we'll need to take that down. Okay. Um, although it is a nice case, so let's empty some of this out. And put this stuff we'll need in. And then uh, the yeah. shackle receiver snatch block. You'd get down faster, to be honest. <laughs> How's it looking? Um, not fantastic. Uh, it's going to take some work, but it's looking, I mean, good after the work is done. I heard that it's looking good. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> Interference on these radios just said perfect. Weird. <laughs> It'd be nice to lose this chunk. Eh? Oh, we're gonna. We're gonna. Is there any logs behind it that need to be cut? Yes. Nice. <laughs> yes, there is. Full charge. Nice. Getting uh, this pathway cleared so when we drag the truck up, it can go up without too many snags. It's it's tough going. <laughs> Just the amount of the the alders and the brush. I mean, the the logs are look like the worst part, but they they clear out pretty quick. It's all this small stuff. appears people tried to steal the tires and wheels off the right side of the truck so we're gonna get it jacked back up put those wheels back on and see if we can get it into neutral if it's not already just so the tires at least freely go around so we're not dragging them up the hill also. Like that thing. 
Bruce brought uh, these pour bottle jacks down. So our plan is with all the wood that we have, we're gonna put a jack under there, lift it as high as we can, switch to the back side of the axle, put another jack in there, but with more wood stacked and just work our way up until the truck's high enough that we can fit one of the wheels back on it. Cause this thing will roll a lot better with wheels on it. But it is gonna have to go really high up to fit a wheel back on there. So far I've managed to bury a jack in this soft frickin' dirt. It's starting to lift the truck now. And that's all I got with that jack. So far it barely lifted the truck half an inch, but it has buried the bottle jack in the soft dirt. So I'm probably gonna take that bottle jack back out and try to stack this under there now that the dirt's compressed. See if I can actually lift the truck because there's no point putting a bottle jack here now because I'm just gonna bury it again. So I need to at least get started lifting this thing. Hey Danny, did you bring that shovel down by I chance? I did. Coming at you. Sweet. Oh. They dig through the soft crap first. Yeah. It might be a little bit easier. Jesus. Oh, this is going great. Not sure if Bruce noticed, but we're on the side of a mountain down here and it's soft mud. I guess at least it's not snow. I'm tempted to use that ladder jack to try to pick this thing up. I thought it was gonna be easy to get these wheels on, but the mud and the bottle jacks, and it's, I don't know, the axle's underground right now. That doesn't help. So I need to get these wheels on, but it's proving to be more difficult. This sucks. I'm a journeyman mechanic. This is supposed to be easy. So much for my good hair day. Whole day is a write off. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm talking on a radio. Uh, over. Oh, my hat. Yep. We're just going to see my hair. Sorry, I'm abandoning you with the rock <laughs> priorities. <laughs> yeah. uh, there? Sure, anywhere I'm not. Yeah. Watch your leg, do not put oh, your leg yeah. under that thing, please. It's like ridiculously sketchy. Perfect. It's Bruce spec. Oh, okay. I'm used to that. Perfect. Yeah, a little bit of digging. This truck is ridiculously sketchy on a couple bottle jacks. And I don't want to put any of my body underneath this truck. The jacks are sinking into the dirt a bunch, making this really freaking hard to do. Oh, that's one. I uh, stole four lug nuts off of each of the wheels that are still on it. There's eight total. So I can put four on each of these two wheels. Somehow, somehow these are missing. This is progress. I've accomplished something today. Guess I don't have to torque those to spec. That's one, Bruce. This was your right, this was easy. That's better than zero. <laughs> well, at least the front shouldn't be too heavy. <laughs> the truck is pinned hard against this tree because the tree is what stopped the truck and as i'm trying to lift it on the leaf spring rather than the truck coming up off the ground it's just bending the leaf spring backwards and it's not really getting anywhere and it's probably just getting more and more sketchy as we go so i think it might be time to get all the rigging done and we'll maybe pull the truck back off the tree which i think is easier than losing the tree and uh, then we'll do this all again and try to get this wheel on. Try to get this truck up the hill. You're five undone. No, you're kidding me. Now it's half undone. That's like barely, oh, that's, that's three quarters. So we've been working super hard down there. Uh, we got the one wheel on and the path that it's gonna come up looks great. Uh, Denny got all that cleared out. I think if we get the truck rigged up and pulled back a little bit, it'll be easier to jack the front up and Jared can get that front right tire on. <laughs>
anyways. So you have the hill working on your, yeah. in your favor. Okay, so everything is rigged up down at the truck now, so now we can get Denny in place. Yeah, I just put it up against the tree there. That'll just keep it from uh, pulling me too far forward. And then I'm gonna probably bolt to one of those trees in the back as well, just to really make sure I don't move. Because uh, I'm gonna be attached to them and that tree there, kind of holding it from getting down the hill. So we now have everything rigged up. Uh, Jared's just gonna pull forward so that his rear line is tight, supporting him. And then we can get the cable run through the last pulley and onto my winch, and that's the last step before we can start winching. Well, that looks kind of perfect. Yeah, nearly, hey? So, Enough to go through the snatch. We're going to be going through the snatch block with this one, yeah. and then you're hooking onto this. That's I, what I, I think I can get. I just got to yank it tight. I, I got a lot pull. of my winch line out still. I think. Uh, oh, tons. Did you say that you have a snatch block up here? I have a couple. Yeah. Okay, because I will snatch block mine to the end of that line. Back to yourself. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what we wrote on crayon, right? Is this where you brag about how we usually use free spools? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's the time. <laughs> That's what you pay for. Nice. How do you feel about that? Good. I'll back up to where I'm kind of straight and Snatch block looks great. All right, I'll get out of the way. All right, eyes on tree. truck decided to pull over and there's not much we can do usually I try to get Bruce to winch in more than Jared and that would kind of force it but since we're on a pulley block here it's just kind of sliding it right to the tree um, Well, unfortunately, we hit the tree. The 
tree's got to go, so maybe if Jared, you don't mind help doing the front wheel, and then I'll do the tree. Uh, ah, these are thorn bushes. That's a hundred percent effect, into a tree. But the tree just has to disappear, so I'm gonna have to draw one, two, and then three over that way. Yeah, and then probably take the back ten feet off of it. Yeah. So that's. I mean, they're all dead crap trees, so I guess we that's the only, the only good thing. Why do you keep getting in my way, Log? Well, there's no pretty way to do this. No. Without hitting the truck with it, so. No. I have to try and drop it that way when it wants to go that way. All the weight's pulling it that way. I'm gonna be able to get a wheel on this thing really soon on the plus side because things are actually going really good now good i like plus sides it's actually lifting the truck now so i think what we're gonna do is uh jared's getting the front wheel on there and um we're gonna try and see if we can roll it forward a bit just because we came into this tree we thought it would kind of slip over but it didn't um and then i'm gonna drop this tree out of our way i lost the lug nut this wheel gets three that's all right. I don't think it has much air in it either, so. Well, even just the rim will help. The oh, yeah. Of it. Not that it's ideal, but. Yeah, yeah. Things don't usually. Battery. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like the battery picked a good time to die, so I'm gonna have to probably come up and get another saw. I'll be here to talk you through getting it out of the back of the Jeep. Awesome, I was hoping to. Am I any more used to you down here, or should I head up? Uh, wheels on. Wheels on. Yeah, you can head up. So there's no tension, so we can't roll it forward, eh? Well, it's not rolling forward. Okay. Um, I mean, if it pulls this way now, it's going to be a lot better. I'm ready to winch when you send over it. Give her.
can still winch in about six feet if you want to hook up and then I'll release. Okay, I'm gonna to try to find something to hook onto. Spruce winch out. Tree then. Breather? Oh yeah, now what? Uh, I gotta just be somewhere I would else. Say... I'll just unhook me. Yeah. So I gotta back up, unhook me. Because you got no tension, so yeah. And I'll just drive for a while. Drive so that you pull <laughs> the cable. Yeah. yeah. I am gonna take this strap off and I'm gonna relocate way up there somewhere. How's it going? Oh, we're making progress. <sighs> Putting Denny in that truck meant I had to run a lot. I didn't think that through. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go way up there now. And then strap Bruce and me both to a tree. And then that should be the last pull, I think. Okay, everyone clear of lines? I'm ready to winch. Denny, good? Yeah, clear in the truck and at the bottom, yep. Everyone's clear of the lines from here. Winching. Winching. All right, this is the last go. Out of line if you want to use yours up. A truck length to go. The thing is, we're pulling into the bank a lot. Right now the truck's at a 45 degree angle, um, right about to come up onto the road and uh, we ran out of winch line so we need to throw a chain on to hold them there while I reset my winch. We're gonna leave the chain on, okay. but we got enough to get you on the road this time. Okay. So if you feel so inclined, if you could crank it hard drivers when we crest this hill, as soon as you clear that tree, see if we can Okay. Do something. Yep. Hard drivers once we go. Yep. Because we want nose pointing at Bruce, right? Okay. Yep. Makes sense. I don't know if we'll have enough in it, but. Yeah. And I mean, we'll see. If not, I'll angry drive hide tied to the back and I'll drag it uphill. 
I like it. Uh, I think once I'm tight, Jared, we'll chain, and then if you can pull to kind of where my Jeep was parked before and just winch him 45 over, that should do it. Yeah, do you want me to drag the back end of the truck onto the road? Yeah, maybe, actually maybe kind of where Hyde was parked, like, when you first got here. That'd probably be a good position. Like where I'm standing right now. Yeah, basically. Whatever will yank his back end over so that he can drive out this way. Cool, I think even single line pull will get it from here. It's hard on the frame though, so that's why it's getting a little slow. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get a, his wheel, front tires kind of on the ground in the next three feet. <laughs> Do you want me to chain off right now or are you going to pull some more? A little more. Chained off if you want to slacken the line. Well, we're almost there. The truck's like so close to the top. Uh, unfortunately, the snatch block has now come up close to the redirect pulley. So we've chained it off. I'm basically useless here right now, so I'm going to pull up. Uh, Jared's going to grab his truck, pull off to the side with just a single line, and hopefully pull the back of the truck over and onto the road so that the front of the truck is pointing my direction, which is the direction that we need to drive down the hill. Well, welcome to my crib. This is where, uh, this is where all the magic happens. So there we got the beautiful steering wheel that I've been using my feet with. It's been great. And uh, yeah, the rest is uh, pretty much, we got glass here and then we got a bunch of rat poop. It's a nice place, nice place. In Vancouver, this would rent for about 4,000 bucks a month. things to my rear steer. If we hold the brake, I'm just going to back up a bit. Winching. I'll uh, winch out a bit. just to hook up and drag it out I guess eh? I think if he cranks it hard passenger I'll spin around and just hook on yeah the chain just still a slight bit of a safety and <laughs> then uh, once it's over that again we'll unhook and yeah, we're and cru I guess you cruising just, down the trail I think you can tow it from here yeah okay, like, like if you I'll go through the window good idea
everything worked. Uh, in the end, just to get the last 10 feet, we just single line pulled with Hyde and pulled it right up. Like, I like that Hyde can do this because that's not at all what Hyde was built for. I, as a race buggy, if my winch comes out, I already consider it a loss. So you try to not use it at all. So when you do use it for something super practical like this, it's kind of kind of neat. It's like a, it's like a Swiss Army knife. It's cool to see Bruce coming up with a plan, but I have no doubt in Bruce. He's as much as he's a bit of a goofball, he is legitimately one of the smartest people I know. He he knows how things work. He refuses to not know how something works. So when it comes to a plan like this, this is just, I imagine this is what he dreams about. I am a lot like Bruce in that aspect. I can't stand not knowing how something works. Has it been time to not before? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Only one? Bruce said I wasn't invited if I did that. Only one? Oh, it's that blue dog. <laughs> yeah, that might hold. Well, it's connected, so that's on you. All right. Okay, we'll just go forward to flat here. Today went well, really well. Um, Bruce's plan kind of made it all work and it went to Bruce's plan. Being <laughs> Being on that slope was definitely a little nerve wracking, uh, especially when uh, we were using the brakes to try and hold the truck while they switched up the rigging and everything. But uh, all in all, it went went to plans. Well, don't think that could have gone much better. Worked out. Ooh, three way, nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone's safe and it's up on the trail. Yep. So that is amazing. I was at risk of a heart attack. Jenny was at <laughs> risk of a wild ride. I'm not sure how much you guys will be moving tomorrow, <laughs> but. Success. Oh, so well, tomorrow will be another day like this. Yeah, likely. Are you gonna pick up your phone next time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> a quick yes and a hesitant. Like, yes. When is it ever not? Like, yeah. 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 Can't threaten me with a good time. Sweet. Well, thank you guys, and let's get this thing down to pavement. <laughs>
Fortunately, the drive out went super smooth and we were able to get the truck back to pavement just before dark. From here, a deck truck will come pick it up and take it back to their compound. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.